Your headline will be perfect. Your opening sentence will be perfect. Every sentence in your offer will be perfect. When you cannot take out a single word without uh, damaging the comprehension of that sentence. So if you are in there and you see a word in there, and I don't care whether it's a verb, a noun, or, or whatever, there's a lot of mumbling going on in, in a lot of writing. Right? And mumbling takes people back to that passive state. We have words, like power words, like good verbs. That is our tool to bring the, the reader out of that passive state into a semi-active state. Because you want him agitated. One of the best uh, testimonials I've ever gotten, uh, and I've gotten many of them, have been along the lines of, damn you, Carlton, I read your ad. There's no way I'm going to buy anything because I'm not the kind of guy that buys you know, from ads. But then I woke up at 3 in the morning, couldn't get back to sleep until I picked up the phone and called and ordered. That's a successful ad. Gets into their head, works down into their emotional sweet spot, kind of works the passions, doesn't let them get unagitated. All we have is words. You can't, you can't reach out and actually throttle them. You know, a, a lot of uh, teachers talk about uh, grabbing the reader, reaching off on the page and grabbing the reader. They like to say that on Madison Avenue, you know, in the, uh, in, in the big agencies. But they don't know what they're talking about. What they're talking about is shock value at best. Shock value gets your attention. After that, all you have are words to be able to bring them in, hold them, and move them through this, what we call the greased slide of the sales process, working them down into the point you want them to be.